Okay, everyone, we are back with the Bissell Zing Bag Canister Vacuum. I just took the bag out of the machine after cleaning the Dyson out, and this bag is barely full. And look at the inside of this vacuum cleaner. It's not leaking from the seal. You can see the door is pretty much clean. You can see it's all coming from the bag. And I'm going to seal this bag shut. It's just so you can see. Clearly. Whoops. Clearly. I hope you can see this dust, but clearly this bag doesn't have good filtration. And this is a Micron filtration bag. Let's take this pre-motor filter off. You can see clearly dirt's going straight into the motor because it's gone through and right through this sponge filter. Look at this. This is disgusting. Look at that. Let's get a better view. Let's get a really good light right into here. I'm sure you can see that. I'm sure you, I really want to make sure you all can see this. I think you can, but look at this. This is unacceptable. Let's check the post motor filter. Yeah, look, there's clearly dust contamination. Yep, look, look at this. Can you see that? If you go like this, there's clearly dust that is escaping that filter. Can you all see this? I think you can all see this, that there is dust escaping the exhaust. And once it gets to the exhaust, it's going to go straight through this little filter and it's just a piece of sponge. It's not a real filter. You can't buy HEPA filters for this machine. So honestly, I'm really not impressed. I got a bag vacuum for it to be better filtration. This clearly isn't better filtration. And I bought more expensive uh, HEPA, not HEPA, allergen, like micro allergen filtration bags for this vacuum. But clearly they're not working because all this dust is escaping back into the air. That is really disgusting, honestly. I am not impressed. <coughs> So I'm gonna be sending this machine back. I'm really not impressed. I got this, as I said, to be more clean than a bagless vacuum, but clearly it's not working. And there's no HEPA bags available for this because you can see the pre-motor filter is doing nothing. This is the front side, as you saw, you can see the marks where these were touching it. This is the front side of the pre-motor filter. You can see there's no seal, so the dust it's just going straight past that filter and going right into the air. So I'm gonna use the Dyson V7 cordless vacuum cleaner to deal with this problem. Let's see if it can get up all this dust. This dust is just too fine. And I have a dusting brush will help with that. Dust off this Dyson speed. Now this thing is filthy too. But yeah, this is unacceptable, really. As you can see, it's nasty on the inside. So this is not good at all. This is kind of ridiculous, as I said. So I'm not really impressed with this vacuum. So, I, as I said, I will be returning it because that is not impressive. That is really annoying. I want to put this filter back in. And, yeah. So, let me know what you think about this video and tell me what you want to see next. And goodbye.